A while ago, a man called Andrew emailed me about a discussion he was due to have with two flat earthers, David Weiss and a guy called Angels of Light. Unfortunately, I am beyond awful at replying to my emails in a timely fashion, and the discussion already happened before I could get back to Andrew. However, it did interest me because I was not familiar with Angels of Light, and I wanted to see what he was all about. So I loaded up the video that Andrew produced on the discussion, sat back, and watched. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thanks very much for joining me. Right, on with today's video, which as I said in the intro, is a section of the discussion between Andrew and two Flat Earthers. I was most interested in the Flat Earther Angels of Light who has a big TikTok following. He seems very confident and I wanted to see how he performed. And we joined the discussion at a point where Angels of Light wants to ask a question. Take it away, my friend. Yeah, so let me t let me ask you something. Okay. Go ahead. You have a response. Okay, yeah. so yeah, okay. you don't need to believe, you don't need to believe NASA, you don't need to believe anything because space violates natural law. Narnia doesn't verify Narnia. If I show you a video of me in Narnia, you don't believe in Narnia because it doesn't exist, right? So. Of course, space does not violate natural law. In his mind, space violates his understanding of natural law. That's what's going on. Uh, let me let me do it very simply for you. Well, let's say we're we're in a car and it's closed, okay? And yeah. we spray a Lynx can. The gas spreads out in all directions, and you can smell that perfume everywhere in the car because that's how gas behaves. It fills available space and expands. Okay. Out. Yep. Yeah. Good show. Uh, if we open the windows, what happens to that gas? Goes out the window, right? Okay, and I, I right. Know, so we're some sort of clever point. So, so we're breathing air right now, and they're telling us we're coexisting next to a vacuum without a container. Now, I'm going to show you what happens. But we do have a when Andrew jumping in at a great point here because we indeed do. Gravity is the container. The weight of the atmosphere on itself is the container. Because I think I was anticipating something like this, right? But the Gravity. sphere acts as that container, correct? The, 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 so, so let me let me, say, let me answer into the globe kind of model, right? That's no. the cap, right? At the our atmosphere. No. Okay. No. Nice hand wave dismissal from Angels of Light there. Just telling Andrew no, no, without telling him why it's a no. So so atmosphere oh. is, is a contradiction. Atmos is air and sphere is the shape. And gases do not take on shapes. They take on the shapes of their container. And this brings me nicely onto a new segment that I'm calling... The Simon Dan Flat Earth Funny Quote of the Week. Oof. And gases do not take on shapes. They take on the shapes of their container. And gases do not take on shapes. They take on the shapes of their container. And gases do not take on shapes. They take on the shapes of their container. That's right. Angels of Light said that gases do not take on any shape. And then followed that up with... Gases take the shape of their container. Congratulations, angels of light. Mm -hmm. And they have to be contained. In the gas laws, there's no gravity anywhere. It's, it's pressure over volume and V. V is the volume, is the container of the gas. Yes, because gas laws were figured out on a macroscopic level here on Earth's surface. There is no point in including gravity in these laws because gravity's effect is negligible compared to things like temperature and pressure. And the definition of gas pressure Mm -hmm. is the amount of force exerted by the particles on the walls of its container. Without a container, you can have gas pressure. They're claiming that in the sky is a vacuum. Eventually you go high enough and there's no air or very little, right? So the, in, in, this guy here, he's an old uh, scientist. He had, it, in one end, he's got uh, gas, he's got a valve, and then on this end, it's a vacuum. So he's taken the air out. So what's going to happen is he's going to open the valve and immediately it's going to seek equilibrium and it's going to, the gas is going to be here and here now. So yes. Yeah, right. And no matter what angle he had that at, if it was upside down, the, the gas, yeah. on the top, gas was on the bottom, gas was helium, gas was nitrogen, doesn't matter. It's instantly going to fill in, in every right. direction. Yes, because the force generated here by the difference in pressure far outweighs any impact gravity would have. You are comparing chalk to cheese here. Yep. Yeah, and they claim that... Yeah. Yeah, so they claim that our Atmos is, uh, well, the space vacuum is essentially an infinite volume, which is, by the way, still expanding, which if you increase volume of a container, you decrease the pressure. That's Boyle's law, uh, which doesn't happen on Earth. We always have a constant 
you know, pressure, whatever. Did you just try to apply Boyle's gas law to the entire universe? I think you did, didn't you? My, oh my, quite incredible. But, um, okay, so what should, what should happen is the, vi the vacuum of space, infinite vacuum of 10 to the minus 17 tall, and the little tiny bit of gas we have in this little speck of an infinite universe should instantly equalize. If that was the case, then things would be very different. Stars would not be able to form, and therefore planets wouldn't either, or life for that matter. This is the problem when your understanding of physics is below the level that it needs to be when you're having discussions like this. We should have a, va a vacuum on Earth right now. We should have no air, or water for that matter. Right, and, and all boils. And so, so, so the I actually agree with you 100%, right? But see, in my mind, right, I've always felt like that's the miracle of life and earth right that that's that sort of like impossible sort of one in a gajillion to, uh, sort of chance. he's saying it in, in, look at the word impossible okay it's impossible yeah. but you have to make up a story because you have a belief and and if you have a you have to you're trying to explain everything so you literally need to make up stories from narnia about it. But these aren't stories. We have evidence of other atmospheres around celestial bodies. Venus has an atmosphere, Mars has a thin atmosphere, Saturn's moon Titan has an atmosphere, and we can prove this. Titan's atmosphere, for example, has been proven through various observations and measurements, including direct probe analysis and remote sensing techniques like spectroscopy. So we know then that bodies with a large enough mass have a gravitational attraction strong enough to hold an atmosphere to their surface just like earth does so they say that gravity holds the air down this is the only thing they say gravity holds the air down and the higher up you get um it's the air gets thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner until there's no gravity okay That's what i'd say yeah no we don't say that because there's never no gravity there is a gradient though you, you have a tall um you know tank of oxygen or whatever get whatever gas and it's a third full the bottom will be liquid the middle will be thicker gas the top will be thinner gas mm -hmm. there's your pressure gradient poke a hole anywhere in that tank, all the gas is immediately gone. Yes, because there'll be a pressure difference between the outside of the tank and the inside of the tank. Right, yeah. so you have your pressure graded, but if, if the, the vacuum of space, we can't even recreate it here on Earth, right? Because on Earth, they, yeah. they have a, 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 a vacuum, NASA has a vacuum chamber, allegedly, um, that the walls are 10 feet thick of steel and concrete, otherwise the whole thing would just collapse, okay? It would yeah. just, it would just collapse. Um, and why would it collapse, Dave? Because of the weight of the atmosphere on top of it. So gravity's holding the air down. I'm down here on Earth where the gravity is the strongest. You know, it gets weaker as you go high, alleg higher, allegedly. Um, but I can take a straw and I can take water or air. And with the, with the super tiny, 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 tiny low pressure system of my mouth and lungs, I could pull water and air up and away from the Earth. Yes, because no one claims that gravity is that strong here on the Earth's surface. There is so much wrong on a fundamental physics basis with what you just said there. I'm just bewildered. You are misunderstanding or getting wrong the nature of gravity itself, atmospheric pressure, surface tension and capillary action, and vacuum and pressure dynamics. It's just an absolute quagmire of misunderstandings. How you know, come? Yeah, how come I can suck water and air up and away from gravity effortlessly, but the Tor 17 vacuum, which you can't even fathom, can't? Because vacuums don't suck, and you do. Easy to explain that one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you know those little uh, droppers that you know you use for medicine or whatever, or you you squeeze it, it creates a low pressure system inside that that little you know uh, tube, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you put it in water, mm -hmm. yeah, and it put, sucks up the water. That tiny little vacuum that's in there, nothing comparable to what's supposedly in the actual atmosphere right now, 10 to the minus 17 tall, and it de that defies gravity. But the huge vacuum that we have up there supposedly is not doing anything. It's just sitting there and it's defying natural law. Yes, well, the pressure differentials in the pipette scenario there do defy gravity. Yes, no surprise. And again, Vacuums don't suck. You cannot honestly sit there and compare a pipette with the entirety of the Earth system. It, it's just laughable. What, what, what they're claiming is actually violating the second law of thermodynamics. No, it's not. And if you watched yesterday's video, Five Tricks That Flat Earthers Use To Fool You, you'd know that Angels of Light is doing just that. 
talking scientific jargon with confidence. It does not violate the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics states that the total entropy of an isolated system increases always over time. Number one, Earth is not an isolated system. And number two, how do you apply that to the Earth's atmosphere? See how they try and fool people? Yeah. All of our gas would just disperse and we'd have no way to breathe. I'd say that the law of thermodynamics doesn't apply to the vacuum of space and that... Well, it absolutely <laughs> does. It absolutely <laughs> does. Look at Dave laughing there, so disrespectful. Whilst Andrew didn't get that quite right, I'm sure he is meaning to say that it doesn't apply to the vacuum of space and Earth's atmosphere for the reasons we've just talked about. Okay, but, but, but that's fair, but I, I suppose that's, that, that's just my natural sort of inclination. That, that, that's something that I'm compelled to, to say about that. But like, you know, hold your religious belief. True, I agree with you. Look, yeah, no, I, 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 I get that. No, no, no. I, 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 I yeah, I, I really, really understand that. But I'm fascinated by the whole idea of like, so the 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 fact that you think that like atmosphere does it exist to you or or, or, or does it not? We're in we, we're in some sort of containment. We have a container around the like whole world. Truman Show, because yes. that's the way like that it's it. sort of you know like it. Yeah. Yes. Yet the two flat earthers have straight faces when they say that our world is the same as the world in the Truman Show. Quite incredible. Who created it? You know, like the Simpsons movie? The God Great did. question. God created it, sure. God did. Yeah, there you go. God remember, you, remember how said, you, you remember how it said it must be this special kind of thing, like impossible scenario? Well, no, it's not. God created it. Well, no, but that's the impossible scenario, right? So uh, yeah. I... I, I, I don't we have a, we, but we have we have a logical answer it's god if you look on page one of the bible not to get too biblical but yeah but that's tells logical, right there you right? made the container i don't think claiming that a book shows us how earth is created is a logical answer i really don't my friend but but, 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 but that's not logical right you're referring to uh, a, a, a book right that, that that has its own yeah. internal sort of logic right yes bang on andrew but but but, but the same way like you're, you're a bible to talk about you know like Regardless of uh, of whether it's a flat Earth or or, or it's glo glo globalism, oh. I get annoyed because like I'm quite religious, right? I I find that mildly offensive, uh, uh, annoying, or whatever. Like like the Bible's the Bible, right? And science is science, right? I mean, science still exists within the flat Earth sort of model, yeah. right? But, yeah, like but uh, Andrew, you know that uh, science goes hand in hand with God. Science proves God, and that's why they've that's why they've done all this to remove God. Yet here is Andrew, a religious person, sitting in front of you, knowing that the Earth is spherical, along with 95% of the other religious people on Earth. There is no God being removed in the globe model. What the Big Bang and the globe I paradigm? I find that really interesting that you say that because I don't actually disagree. Because my father-in-law, yeah. like, said that, 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 that basically, like, the, the the field with the least amount. Uh, of religious or, 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 or the highest amount of atheists right people that don't believe in god are like you know basically the stem fields right something like you know 0.9 percent of um yeah. uh, scientific academics kind of believe in god right this is true but we're talking about global belief here of an established fact like the earth shape let's skip ahead a bit more as angels of light asks another one of his questions andrew one Let's second Ch check, th check this out you said you, you're on a globe and you don't have fear right no, I, I do. Okay. Have fear, sorry, but, but but like not the kind of fear that um that okay. uh, David's uh, if, a bit about if, the government, NASA sort of stuff. If, let's just say, let's just say NASA on the TV tomorrow said there's a very high chance a comet's going to destroy Earth tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's all over the news. Would you believe it? Well, yeah. And why wouldn't you? NASA wouldn't just make that up. Yeah, I suppose because it's all okay. and all that. So, stuff. so okay. we know that NASA's full of it. They're fake. The Hollywood agency that no one's in space and there are no asteroids. You know what? You know what Angel and I will do? We're gonna go out and have fun. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna just spread love around the world, and we're not gonna worry about that at all. Why everyone else is in fear? Every cell in their body is getting ripped apart with fear. They're causing themselves to have dis ease because that's what fear causes. Right. And we, we have no fear of that whatsoever because it's all fake. Asteroids yeah. don't exist.
Yes, the yodeler is back everyone. Of course asteroids exist and we've got monumental evidence to suggest they do. Well, there we go everyone. What did we think of that new fluff, Angels of Light there? Let me know in the comments below what you thought of his performance. As I say, we're all done and dusted for another one. Thanks so much for watching today. It is truly appreciated. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing to the channel, hitting the thumbs up button too. We very much appreciate it. Remember, we're on daily videos now, so I don't want you to miss one. I've been Simon Dan. Have yourselves a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow for another Saturday session. See you then.